On February 23rd and 24th, 2013, the Soka Art Center in the 798 Art District in Beijing held an exhibition titled The Warm Rivers of Spring. On display was a selection of fine paintings by different art masters. The theme of the artwork was the changing of the four seasons and the circle of life, and demonstrated through the works of the talented artists. We selected the works of 22 different artists for this exhibition to reflect the theme. We have a standard for the types of quality of artworks to display. The Soka Art Center was founded in 2001 and was one of the first galleries to operate from an art history standpoint and academic angle in China. Looking at the development of contemporary art in the 21st century, you see that media is not the most significant because you can use different mediums such as cameras and video in your artwork. The most important thing is the source and idea behind the artwork. As a great cultural nation, Chinese artwork has begun to move toward the international arena, although there are still limits to the extent for international exchange. We can learn from the West about different art forms and use of materials, but the artwork should demonstrate the ideas of Eastern thought. Art is only significant when one can see the artist's root and culture reflected in the pieces. Great works of art are valuable because they contain the artist's self-expression and culture. Soka Art Center's collection often focus on the combination of Eastern and Western culture. This exhibition fully displayed their perception of Chinese art. We can see the philosophy of Soka particularly through this painting, Awkward Moon. I created this painting in 2008. At the time, I kept thinking about how the moon was reflected everywhere throughout Chinese culture. I wanted to find a way to integrate this tradition into my painting, so I chose oil paint. I focused on combining the cultures of East and West to create and promote a new direction for development. This just so happened to coincide with the development of Mr. Xiao's art gallery. The trends emerging in the contemporary art market in China is not entirely dependent on the quality of work itself, but more likely driven by profit strategy. Since 2008, the value of the renminbi has increased. Many galleries in Europe and America have started to collect heavily and huge sums of money have begun to enter the Hong Kong and Chinese art markets. Although the art market seems bustling, it also has many people worried about the future of Chinese art. In the mainland art market, there are more buyers compared to collectors, which is less than 10 percent. People purchase artwork as a form of investment and not for personal pleasure. Because it is not considered consumer goods, it is hard to depict the actual value of the work. For example, if someone buys a house, but no one lives there, then there is no practical use for the house. Soka Art Center is located in Beijing's 798 Art District, and the exhibition has attracted many art lovers. The exhibition truly features the characteristics of contemporary art. Each painting has its own spotlight, and you can genuinely see the artist's ideas reflected in the works. As I study graphic design, I can tell that each of the paintings has its own structural layout. Soka Art Center is dedicated to the promotion and exchange of contemporary art and is one of the first galleries on the mainland to meet the international brokerage system standards. The general manager of the gallery, Mr. Xiao, is confident about the future for the Chinese art collectibles market. Art is for people to appreciate. If no one is there to appreciate a piece of art, then it doesn't have any value. There are not a lot of people who can appreciate artwork here on the mainland, so we need to help cultivate this appreciation. If one day 50 percent of buyers are willing to put the artwork on display in their homes to enjoy and appreciate, then the art market will explode. Mr. Xiao also told us that in the last 20 years, the prosperity in the art market witnessed the high economic growth of China. The rise of the Chinese art market is the first sign of cultural rising, after which will bring about the prosperity of the whole Chinese culture. However, in the current art market, Mr. Xiao thinks that the economy is relatively large and will be ready to face the market share which is expected to decline.